Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain linear time variant and linear time invariant system. So, in previous session, I have already explained you how we can identify linear linearity of system and how we can identify time variance of system. So, for linearity, we need to check superposition principle and for time invariance, we need to con check whether y of n comma k is equals to y of n minus k or not. So, if system is linear as well as time variant, in that case, we can say that system will be linear time variant system. So, if system is satisfying linearity as well as time variance, in that case, it will be LTV means linear time variant system. If system follows linearity as well as time invariance in that case we can say system is linear time invariant system lti system so when we try to calculate whether given system is ltv or lti linear time variant or linear time invariant in that case we need to check both of this condition linearity as well as time variance and based on that we can identify whether it is ltv or LTI or both are there or not right so let us try to understand this with one example so it will be more clear now see I'll be considering first example if y of n that is n into x of n so first I'll, con I'll be checking linearity. So for linearity, we need to calculate superposition principle. So what I'll be doing is I'll be calculating first transpose of input is x1 of n. So in that case, my output will be n into x1 of n. And if I calculate response transpose of x2 of n so in that case my output response will be n into x2 of n as y of n is equals to n into x of n so if i calculate lhs sorry rhs so rhs is what a1 transpose of x1 of n plus a2 transpose of x2 of n so if you place this value so that will be a1 n x1 of n plus a2 n x2 of n now if you combine these two signal so you can calculate lhs so lhs that is transpose of combined signal that is a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n so in this case, you will be finding n will be as it is and instead of x, now it will be combined input signal. So that will be a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n. So this will be practically a1 n x1 of n plus a2 n x2 of n and that is actually RHS means given system is linear system so it is linear system that we can say based on this principle of linearity now let us calculate time variance condition so for that we need to calculate y of n comma k so in y of n comma k we need to calculate transpose of x of n minus k so we need to replace x of n with n minus x of n minus k so n will be as it is and x of n now this x of n that will change to x of n minus k and when you calculate y of n minus k you will have to replace all n with n minus k so here n is there so that is n minus k and x of n minus k that will happen so we can say here 
y of m comma k is not equals to y of n minus k so this system it is time variant system so we can say this system is linear as well as time variant system so from both we can say given system is linear time variant means ltv system it is linear time variant system now let us have one more example so it will be more clear so now i'll be considering a case y of n that is equals to n into x square of n now let us identify linearity first so for linearity i need to check response with input x1 of n so transpose of x1 of n so that is n into x1 square of n and transpose of x2 of n so that is n into x2 square of n so from this we can calculate rhs so that is a1 transpose of x1 of n plus a2 transpose of x2 of n and if you place these two values you will be getting it is a1 n x1 square of n plus a2 n x2 square of n now for linearity rhs that is what combined signal so now combined signal will be transpose response of a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t so that will be now n will be as it is and output is square of x1 x so here input is a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t so square of this a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t whole square so this is a1 n x1 square of a1 square n x1 square of t plus a2 square n x2 square of t plus 2 a1 a2 x1 t x2 t so this is not equals to rhs so as this is not equals to rhs we can say it is non linear system this is non linear system now if we calculate time variance property so for that we need to calculate y of n comma k and that is transpose of input x of n minus k so we need to calculate only we need to change only input so n will be as it is and x of n that will change is to x square of n minus k and if you calculate y of n minus k so in that case we need to replace n with n minus k so n minus k into x square of n minus k so here one can observe y of n comma k that is not equals to y of n minus k so this is what time variant system it is time variant system so here this given system is non linear and time variant system so from this we can say it is neither ltv nor lti system as it is non linear system so given system is given system is neither linear time variant nor 
linear time invariant system so this system is not both so this is even possible so i hope that you have understood this how to identify linearity and time invariance so thank you so much for watching this video please give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will be solving your queries thank you so much for watching this video